Hi Stampers, this is Holly from RubberRedneck.TypePad.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this fun and cute little treat for Halloween. Now this uses the stamp set called Fall Fest and I paired it with the Ghoulish Greeting stamp set. Both these stamp sets are out of our holiday catalog. For more details on how to purchase the supplies used, visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com, and you can also visit there, and I'll have a project sheet download for this fun and cute treat. treat. To start out with, you want to fill one of our 4x6 cellophane bags. Now, I filled it with some candy corn, and then to seal it, I just taped this over. Then you want to cut one piece of Sahara sand cardstock, and you're going to cut that at 1 and 3 quarters by 11 inches. Once you have that cut, you are going to place it onto your simply scored scoring tool, and you're going to score it at 4 and a quarter, 4 and 3 quarters, and then at 9 inches. Once you have that scored, then you're going to put sticky strip on the end that is the smaller, so it's only about that wide there, the smaller end. Put a piece of sticky strip on there, then turn it over, and on the top part, you're going to take the stamp from Fall Fest, ink it in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and stamp around the edges here with the little faces from the pumpkin, pumpkins. Then once you have that part done, you're ready to fold this around your candy. So you're just going to place your candy in there, peel off the backing off your sticky strip, and then fold this over and attach this to that Sahara sand cardstock. So there's what it looks like. Now it will slide off of there, so when you give this to somebody, you'll want to be careful so you don't tip it and it falls right out like that. So you're going to put that right back on the center of your candy. Then you're going to cut 13 inches of the seven, seven, and, seven eighths cotton ribbon, excuse me, cut 13 inches of that. Then you're going to place this in the, in the, down the center of your Sahara sand cardstock. So then you want to make sure your edges are pretty much lined up here at the top. And then you want to take the handheld stapler, which comes in the holiday catalog. You can purchase that. The staples don't come with it. Those are sold separately. So if you do order that, be sure to buy the staplers. The staples, I mean. So line that up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your handheld stapler, slide that in from the top. And you want to punch that, staple that ribbon right above the cardstock in the center. See if you can see it there. So you're going to punch it right in the center so you pull that cotton ribbon tight. Once you have that stapled, you're going to take a pair of scissors that you use for your paper, or cutting your ribbon, fold your top here in half, and then you're going to cut at an angle and you're going to go from the center to the point so that you notch this out. Then you'll have a nice little piece of ribbon like that. Then you want to cut one piece of the crushed curry cardstock and you're going to cut that at one and a half inches by four inches. Run it through the big shot with the lucky stars embossing folder to give it that fun textured look. Cut one piece of tangerine tangle cardstock at one and a quarter by three and three quarters. Take the stamp from Gorgeous Grunge, ink it in tangerine tangle, and stamp onto the tangerine tangle cardstock. Now you might need to do that twice to cover that whole piece. Then you're going to glue the tangerine tangle cardstock right to the crushed curry in the center. Then you want to cut one piece of the Motley Monster Designer Series paper in the pumpkin pie pattern. 
you're gonna cut that at one inch by one and three quarters. Now this is as wide as the wrapper on your, for your Sahara sand. So when you glue this to the tangerine tango and the crushed curry, it's gonna overhang off on the sides. So be sure to only put the glue in the center, leave a little bit on the ends without glue there. Then you're gonna place this onto your crushed curry and your tangerine tango towards the bottom. And you wanna, like I said, leave a little hanging off the side so it's evenly proportioned. Then you wanna cut one piece of Sahara sand cardstock and you're gonna cut that at two inches by two inches. Run that through your Big Shot with your wood grain embossing folder to give it that texture pattern. Then you're gonna place a glue dot at the top and bottom of the Sahara sand cardstock and then you wanna attach this to all the layers over here. Now you're gonna go towards the top of your Motley Monster Designer paper and line up your edge with your crushed curry cardstock. You wanna cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock at two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Once you have that cut, you're gonna run it through the Big Shot with the Starburst framelits to die cut it out to get that Starburst shape. Take the stamp from Ghoulish Greetings, ink it in Memento Ink, the Tuxedo Black. Stamp the Trick or Treat in the center towards the top of your Whisper White. Once you have that stamped, you're gonna attach this to all your layers, so just put one stamping dimensional in there and put it towards the top of your layers here. Now be sure to put it in the center because this does overhang off the side here. Then once you have that on there, you want to cut seven and a half inches of crushed curry baker's twine. Once you have that cut, place a glue dot on one end and then you're gonna wrap this around all these layers. So attach your glue dot to your back of the crushed curry cardstock and wrap that around twice. And then you're gonna secure the other end with a glue dot. So this is what it'll look like. Take the stamp from Fall Fest, ink it in pumpkin pie, and stamp onto a piece of Whisper White. Run your pumpkin image through the Big Shot with the matching framelits called Fun Fall, die cutting out your pumpkin. Take the little face image from the Fall Fest set, ink it in Memento Ink, the Tuxedo Black, and stamp onto the pumpkin image. Once you have that cut or stamped on there, then you're gonna place a stamping dimensional onto the back and place your pumpkin over here onto the left of all the layers. Then you're gonna turn this over and you're gonna place four stamping, or two stamping dimensionals on the back. But you're gonna take those two stamping dimensionals and cut, cut each one in half. And you'll place one at the top on both sides of the crushed curry, and then you wanna cut another stamping dimensional in half, and use your scissors that you use for paper and gunk, and then place them on the bottom here. Then once you have those little pieces on there, peel off the backing, and you're ready to attach this to your Sahara sand label. So you'll just place that so it sits over the seventh, seven eighths cotton ribbon, and then you want it in the center of that Sahara sand cardstock. Then you wanna take one of the neutral designer buttons, the basic black small one, attach that with a glue dot, and place that over here onto the right side of your pumpkin and that whisper white die cut. Create a double bow out of the crushed curry baker's twine Take a glue dot, place that in the center of that button, and then attach your double baker twine bow to the glue dot on the button. Then you wanna take one of the neutrals candy dots, and you want the Sahara sand one, and you're gonna place that up here on the top above the trick or treat on the right side. And then that completes the tutorial for the little Fall Fest candy corn wrapper. Be sure to visit my blog for a project sheet download, rubberredneck.typepad.com. And then that completes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.